Let's welcome in somebody who knows a thing or two about uh, team names, generating team names. Mr. Kyle Bray, you know him from Good Morning Football. You know him from the new show Frogger uh, on Peacock, co-hosting it with Damon Wayans Jr. Nice shirt. I'm peeping the Cobra Kai shirt. Appreciate it. You got the memo. You knew how to dress for this show. Um, Kyle, good to see you, brother. Listen, um, I didn't like Washington football team because it felt lazy, but it's kind of grown on me. And compared to the other candidates, I'm like, just keep it. You know, what, what, what say you? First of all, I'm thrilled to see you guys. Thank you for having me. Love what you're doing. Huge fans of yours for years. And I love that you bring me in on this take. Here's where I'm frustrated about. I have spent the last two years reconditioning myself not to say their old team name. I'm there. I don't say yes. it anymore. I don't mess up. I don't say San Diego Chargers, and I don't say the Washington's old team name. I rolls off the tongue. So now don't double deke me with some nonsense like brigade or defenders. I'm fully on board with Washington football team. There's something classic about it, something old-fashioned. I like the numbers on the it's helmet. -like. It works. And honestly... The franchise that kept their old name for that long and pretended it was fine, do we have any confidence in them to choose an adequate replacement? I'm out on it. I want them to say Washington <laughs> football team. Kirkland brand yeah. football team. You have earned generic and you will stick with it. Like what I, think I, I tank came up with these with finalists? You. Like, I, I mean, like this is the best. This is seven other names. That's the best you could do is seven other. I mean, don't, you got all the money in the world. You couldn't pay somebody to do better than that. Keep your yeah, football I, you, you, at the whiteboard, if that was the best you had in the room throwing the ball around and you got Brigade and Red Wolves or Red Stripe or whatever the hell it is, no, I'll, I'll go a step further. I, I think the baseball team should have been the Washington baseball team. Like, just to, to screw it. It's, it's America's capital. Just keep them all generic. If they announce Washington football team, I think it would be – here's the point. Whatever they come up with, everyone's going to hate. Everyone's going to hate and reject and say it sounds ridiculous. Right. <laughs> right. I think they've kind of embraced Washington football team – so why change it again? Like it. It's like another divorce. Just keep it, yeah. guys. And the team's pretty good, by the way. They made the playoffs as the Washington <laughs> football team. Cheap it a keeper. Yeah. And you know what? That's you know true. what? Mike and Mike and Kyle, the way the way to yeah. do it, there, there are a couple of there are a couple of examples. There's some models to follow that have okay. already been done. So when Cleveland came out with the Guardians, it didn't yeah. leak. It's okay, it's the Guardians. That's it. We're the Guardians. Boom. Okay. You, we know people don't people don't like change anyway, so don't uh -huh. don't say we've narrowed it down and have the candidates out there. That's the first mistake. Don't do that. Here's the mm -hmm. other thing: when the when the Rams changed their uniforms, everybody hated it. But ra the Rams dug in. Eric Dickerson's like, we got to get this out of here. This is terrible. They dug in and look at that uniform now. That uniform's kind of nice now. Mm -hmm. We kind of got mm -hmm. used to it. So just embrace whatever it is and live with it. And I'm with you guys. It's Washington football team because I hate singular names. The Washington mm -hmm. Brigade, the, the Brigade, the Brigade, the Brigades. No, it's got to be it, but but the Washington football team is singular, but I like it. It's all right, Mike, you bring up a good point too. Uh, do you be confident in, in releasing finalists or semifinalists? It's this BS soft rollout. We're trying to gauge what everybody likes and hates without really doing it. And you know they're checking Twitter. Well, they, they hate Brigade, but they like Brigadiers or whatever the hell it is. Just announce the name, own it, and live with it. it there's an insecurity in releasing finalists and doing this BS sort of election on it through social media. Pick your name, or at this point, don't pick your name. You know, you go to the store and you see on the bottom shelves where there's like, you know, there's Captain Crunch and there's Fruity Pebbles. And at the bottom, there's just like fruit cereal, cola, flour. That, that's what they are. And I like it. A stock generic product that all of a sudden is good. I want to definitely get into your show, uh, Frogger, in a second, uh, coming up all on right. Peacock. Uh, but in the meantime, let's talk about uh, kickoff tomorrow. This should do every morning as well as anybody. Love what you guys are doing on Good Morning Football or NFL Thanks. Network. Uh, we were just talking about uh, the Bucks uh, not only coming back reloaded, but adding a Gio Bernard to Tom Brady's arsenal, a fully healthy and integrated Antonio Brown. Uh, O.J. Howard is back. We know they kept the whole staff. I mean, listen, we know how hard it is to repeat. Nobody's done it since Brady's Patriots 03 04. Uh, and I, I get that it's football and anything can happen. There's a lot of other competition and you could be great in the regular season. All it takes is one off day in the playoffs. Yada, 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 yada. 
But man, this team feels like as close to a lock to repeat as I can remember. Just given that I know. they weren't even supposed to win it, let Brady tell it last year. And Mike, that's why I feel like it's not going to happen. It's almost too perfect. Like they, there's no perfect yeah. Voltrons in this league. You can't have no weaknesses because they're they're even being like irresponsible about it. Almost like everyone, 22 of 22 starters. That sounds great. They also have the same kicker, the same punter, the same long snapper, the same. It's like they got the same everything. They got 26 out of 26. And that just like, makes me think, like, no, that, that just don't piss the football gods off. Don't do it. We we got historical the other day on the show. You know, the last time a team brought back all 22 starters, it's the 1977 Raiders. Their head coach was John Madden, and it's Stabler and all those guys that our parents' generation loved. They didn't win it. They didn't win squat. They got upset, like, early in the playoffs. They were fine, 11-3 and three or something, but it didn't work. And I just think, look, the Brady thing, I don't care about the age anymore. I don't care if he's 54. I'm so over that. I just think there's a lot of good teams. And this team was pretty crappy for about a month last year. And everybody wants to forget because their January was amazing. Their November was terrible. I didn't even know if they're gonna make the playoffs. I think they were seven and five at one point. Right, They'll be good it, this year, but I'm it not feels taking like them. yesterday. It feels like yesterday we were laughing about this. You know what You're I mean? Right. That, that was I know. Really, I'm old enough to remember. You know that that game um, against Chicago. The guy lost to the okay, Nick Foles so Bears know. that night. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this is what we're talking I about. I don't know, you know if stuff. this. I don't know if this uh, necessarily. I don't want to like steal your thunder from the show uh, tomorrow morning because uh, I, I didn't get a chance to catch this morning. Have you given your? So you're skeptical about whether the Bucks can actually repeat. Have you yeah. given your uh, official Kyle Brandt Super Bowl picks then? Uh, no, going but I'll into give it to you season. guys. I don't care. And if not, there's no thunder to be stolen. Can I you break it on? Break care. the new. Break the news on this show. Break it on I'll this show. It. Breaking news. Big Kyle breaking Brand. news. Um, Good morning, right, football. So, Who you got? Yeah, this is it. Uh, all the actions on the Chiefs, all the actions on Tampa. Um, and it's weird. It feels like it's 1991, but I'm going to get on that absolute rocket to Mars right now called Josh Allen. I'm going to say the Buffalo Bills are going to win the Super Bowl. I'm going to do it. I don't care wow, how crazy man. it sounds. I don't care that's the Chiefs this, Chiefs that. I think there's something that Sean McDermott has going on there. I like the team. I like the progress. And I think that one of these times the Chiefs are going to get knocked off. That's it. I'm taking the Bills to win the whole damn thing. It's wild. Now, listen, over. Man, if you really want to get crazy. Over the Bills Packers. Over, over what, Mike? Over the Packers. Bills over I Packers. I think the last dance for the Packers Ooh. is going all the way to the Super Bowl, and they're going to run into this kind of rock star that Rodgers used to be. when he. I mean, he still is, but when he got to his first Super Bowl and he beat the Steelers, it was this young quarterback who was about to take over the league, and I think that's going to be Josh Allen in the Super Bowl. But shit, we're talking six months from now. What do I know? <laughs> Hey, listen, hey, if you really want to get crazy, you pick the Browns. Pick the Browns to win the Super Bowl. If you really want to uh, uh, take it back to 1960, really want to uh, uh, take it back to 1964, take it back to six, forget about 1991, <laughs> take it all the way back if you want to do that. Let me ask you this, uh, Kyle. Uh, Mike said he wants to talk about your new show. I want to talk about your yeah. new show and your current show because I've always okay. wondered this. I mean, really, I'm, I'm, a fan, I'm a fan of good morning football, and I think about process. When I'm watching shows, especially shows that are different, they don't fit into some uh, nice little uh, corporate box, cute little box of this is what it is. The show is organic, it's free flowing. Tell me what the meetings, what are the meetings like with y'all? Because it seems like it's just a bunch of people on set kicking it. They're <laughs> it, it, you audible if you need to. You laugh if you need to. Uh, just go off script. So what is what are the meetings like for the show? I've always wondered. My, that. I I appreciate the compliment and the question. And I've watched a lot of shows that you've been on as well. I know you've been through this. My, my meet, the meetings we have, uh, about seven minutes long about for a three hour show. It is the most <laughs> minimalistic, bare bones meeting uh, where one word answers. And listen, Nate left, now Burleson's gone. He was the king of the sleeping in the meeting. We'd have to wake him up. We said, Nate, hello, Nate. What do you think about what the Seahawks are going to do this weekend? Oh, uh, Russell Wilson is going to make play. <laughs> so our meetings are not very productive. And I think for some shows that might be a disaster. It is early. They're, they're usually at about they're 5, 530 in the morning. But I think that's what happens. We, we don't have meetings, so we have to just have the meeting live. And when we started the show in 2016, there were no auditions. There were no chemistry tests. There were no dry runs. I had never even met half the host before they cast us and had contracts. They just kind of winged it. And uh, damn, somehow 1,300 episodes later, like we're still here. So Mike, 
the medians are in a word are beautiful because <laughs> they're over like that man <laughs> <laughs> nothing and, and nothing so better than the, meetings uh, that, uh, oh, that God, nothing best. better than meetings that could just be emails. You know what I mean? Like yes. most meetings don't need to be an email anyway. You know what I mean? As long as mm -hmm. you're not re replying right. at all. Mm -hmm. So casting wise, you know, fascinated by this dynamic of you and Damon Wayans Jr. Michael and I rarely go a week's worth of shows without referencing uh, Damon Wayans still standing. <laughs> sure. Like like we 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 all grew yeah. up with Damon Wayans. Yeah. Like he's one of the funniest dudes of all time and I love Damon Wayans Jr. I love his work as well. He's hilarious. What's it like working with him? What kind of chemistry have you guys been able to establish? Hell, did you know him before you met? And if you didn't, how quickly did y'all hit it off? So here's how this went. We knew we were going to be working together and never met when we were both casts. And we said, you know what? Like, let's go get, let's go get a steak or something. Let's go to a restaurant, you and me, and like just us. None of the showrunners and stuff. So uh, we meet in the restaurant. What's up? How you doing? Great to meet you. We sit down. We order our drinks. And we're looking at the menu, and I just turn to him. I go, all right, dude. I gotta put cards on the table. I'm just gonna start our relationship this way. Um, I love Blank Man. I love The Last Boy Scout. I love Mo Money. I love In Living Color. I love your family. Uh, yeah. I love white chicks, and he and, and I just want you to know that I'm a huge <laughs> fan of your family. All right. And he takes a sip, yeah. and he goes, "I like white chicks too. I also like the movie." And uh, it, it's it was, and then that just broke the ice. And like he's like, "Thanks, man. I haven't heard about I haven't heard about Mo Money in a long time." He's totally, totally yeah. secure and cool, and like he's here for the dude. Tell me about going to the set of The Last Boy Scout, and what was it like? What was it like when you were a little kid and Jim Carrey used to come by your house in the 90s? He has stories totally, completely secure. It's like going to Cooper Manning and being like, all right, so Peyton and Eli. And he's just cool, man. I, I, he was like the, the chillest guy I've ever worked with. I love him. That's dope. Yeah, man. Oh, that's awesome. And so, and, and so after that, it was pretty much, it, you, you were pretty much rolling after, uh, after, that, after that break the ice moment, right? We we're just rolling and like, listen, this is a cool gig. It, it, the three of us all work and looking at different jobs we've had and we hope we get at some point. You, you hope for a moment where some job comes where you're just like, hell yes. And I had that moment. I was so fortunate to have it. I remember when it was when I said, I'm like, shoot, I'll do a Frogger show. They said to me, they're like, so here's what we're envisioning uh, for you. Um, what we would love is if you could call the action just like it's a football game, but make a bunch of 80s movies references. And I'm like, you came to the right mm -hmm. place, my friends. I am in, tell me where <laughs> to sign. And that's what we did just for weeks. It's like, it's everything we love. It's video games, it's movies, it's the 80s, it's sports and it's comedy. Oh, man. And it's like, I just had the, the time of my life, man. It was so fun. And I think it'll come across when you watch it. And also, I know you guys understand this, like I'm gonna watch it with my five-year-old. I'm gonna watch it with my seven-year-old. It's wholesome. Yeah. There's no, uh, yeah. there's no COVID talk. There's no, uh, you know, in the sports, all the terrible stuff with the domestic issues and all that. None of that. It's clean as a whistle. It's Dude, fun. Like, it's wholesome. It's great. How much? The floor is lava. We've been, we've been playing the floor is lava in, yeah. in our house. Now we got to play, you know, Frogger because it's like, dude, and I live on 80stees.com. Like, I, I buy a bunch yeah. of t-shirts from this website. It's got nothing but 80s uh, pop culture t-shirt. But, yo, like, I love to know. So, Frogger, like, classic video game. Like, I, obviously, that was your favorite video game growing up. Okay, I got you. I was, but, like, give us some other video games that you loved. Back in okay. the day, because I, I know you and I, you know, we, we've kicked it before. You and I are coming from the oh, same. Oh, yeah, Mike's yeah. a little older, so you might not have played the games that we played. Uh, All right, but, well, let's talk about the games because you no, I, I played the games that you played. Mike. Yeah, I right. played the games that you played before you played them. <laughs> okay, that's how, <laughs> that's already how beat old them. I am. So. All right, well, listen, Mike, you and I could easily talk about the classics, like, NBA Jam or GoldenEye or Mario Kart, and those are all excellent. But out of respect for everyone in the room and yeah. out of respect for Frogger, I'm going into an arcade and it's maybe 87 or 88 and they're playing uh, Depeche Mode and I got a little grease on the controller. I used to really play a game. You remember the game called Gauntlet where you choose one of four warriors yeah. and just mess everybody up? Yeah. I, yeah. I want a yeah. Gauntlet show. Remember Gauntlet? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that? It, absolutely. Yeah, you choose so, a like warrior so this, this, or sorcerer or elf or whoever the woman was who was just kicking ass. 
loved Gauntlet. Uh, obviously, in the classics, I used to be a big centipede guy, like when I was really young. And then there's that bridge. So like that game is so that's the classic 80s arcade. That game is frustrating, and then man. you get into like the Ninja Turtles game. Like that's 90s, early 90s, yeah. where you had to choose your turtle. Yeah. And then it like then it really took off. Yeah. So like I'm gonna throw out Gauntlet, I'm gonna throw out Road Blasters, Ninja Turtles, and I'll do Centipede. So, All hey, right. now, now Real Kyle, quick let you go. Centipede. Now Co Contra Code. No, I was gonna say just Contra Code, go. Up up. Down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, give me my 30 lives. <laughs> That's my guy. Mike, I got nothing else. I'm, but you got, Mike, you get the last hey, one. I no, got nothing else. I just, no, I just want to make, I just want to be clear. The centipede is the yeah. same game with the roller, right? You got yeah. the roller and you got to keep, that was, a, you like that game? That game is so frustrating <laughs> because it's, you got everybody coming down on you. Yeah. you Stop. And the aim and in the tech, the tech wasn't wasn't up to it, it was ambitious, but it just wasn't ready for it. So you would be firing, but it didn't go straight. So you'd be no, right you under it trying to hit it. <laughs> no, it's terrible. You know what's no, funny, not, Mike? Not, I think it's I'll, I'll pull all the worlds together. I think once they start stop making those centipede games, they extracted those dumb roller balls and put them into the golden tee game. So you could drive at 330 with Tiger Woods off the tee. That's Same right. deal. <laughs> oh, great pull right there. Great Thank pull. You. That's so awesome. There you, you go. Thank you. Hey, man. Kyle Brandt, we appreciate you falling through. Thank you for the time. Keep up the great work, man. We love it on Good Morning Football. Uh, looking forward to checking out you and Damon Wayans Jr. on Frogger. It's going to be a good time. And like you said, man, good time for the, for the family. I already told you, when I saw you last time, what did I tell you? I was like, my son told me to tell you what's up because my son does face of the franchise yeah and every time i look up you guys are talking about his uh, his creative player on face of the franchise so you're doing god's work my friend we appreciate you i love you both thank you for having me on i would always be thrilled to be the aquaman to your batman <laughs> let's do it again i love it let's do it again sometime. all right anytime appreciate all right dude see you later thanks kyle Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.